What are your thoughts on the new PS4 exclusive Spider-Man? L- looks like it could actually be good. So I don't think normally we'd we'd field questions like this, but I I I think it looks great. I think it can be good, and there's a reason why. Um, Marvel is behind it. I mean, they're really behind it. It seems like they're behind it in a way like they would be behind a a a, a Marvel uh, cinematic universe well, movie. That means Disney's behind it. Um, and they don't want this to fail. I think that we are kind of at the point where, hey, if superhero movies can be good, then so should superhero yeah, video yeah. games. Let's not just license the fucking property out to some asshole who doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Because why shouldn't they be good? It should be incredibly fun to play. Didn't as... Sega make some crappy ones in the past? They made some good ones, too. Um, well, they should be consistent. Though. Yeah, but, you know, you've got... You, you've got you've got companies like um, Sucker Punch that made uh, the infamous games, which were essentially superhero fantasies that were done perfectly yeah. fine. Now you've got Insomniac Games behind this, behind Ratchet and Clank, uh, you know, and other great games where they've built whole worlds. And there's no reason why it shouldn't be fun to play as Spider-Man in a video game. Um, I think that this actually does stand a good chance of being fairly quality. And if this is going to be the torch, uh, the torchbearer for um, superhero-based video games, I think we could see a lot of good things. The thing that really needs to be done away with for superhero video games to be good is they need to stop being tied to movies, yes. and they need to stop being released day and date with movies. You need to have a Spider-Man video game that is just a Spider-Man video game. It can't be a Spider-Man Homecoming well, video game because that's going to suck. It just needs to be a Spider-Man video game. Yeah, don't worry about the getting sales off the t- promotional tie and Just make a good fucking game. Right, exactly. Uh, the only exception would be, I think it was at that second uh, uh, Spider-Man game that came out in PS2. Which kind of... Open world one. Which, which still people say was great. Yeah, and sort of disregarded the movie, and that's why it was great. It gave you this huge open world that, you know, web around and swing around in. Um, so, yeah, I do think it could be good. I think the trailer looks good. It's, 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 it's a little difficult to judge from video game trailers this early, but um, I would love to see an era where we get some good superhero video games. I think that would be fantastic. Like if you got like if you got like an Avengers game, where like you had to go around the world and it was kind of like you can make your own decisions. Imagine that; that'd be well, awesome. He- here's an excellent like, example. You- uh, Lego has made a billion Lego. superhero games, and yeah. you know what? They're all freaking good. You know why? Because they're not really tied in with a movie or anything like that. They let a team take a property and build something out of it. And the Lego games are obviously more aimed at kids, but adults have fun playing them too. But now if you make something that's in the the realm of video games target audience and you do it with the same quality, you could be looking at something fantastic. Key is a good Spider-Man game. I think you have to have it open world in, in New York. Mm-hmm. At least semi-open world with some randomness, some stuff you can do on your own. You just have, it, Stop burglars and alleyways. Yeah. The, the web swinging has to be good, has to be intuitive. Because I remember playing, the, I think what, what, the, one of the what, Spider-Man game on the original PlayStation. Jesus, that web swinging was awful. I remember. Oh yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. just like, holy shit! If you can, if you can put two together, you were lucky. Like two web swings together at that game. Wow, I, I haven't played. Wow, what did I play? People still game? love that game too. The original one, they buy it from like ninety nine. I mean, the combat and whatnot wasn't awful, but yeah, the web swinging wasn't very good. Combat. Uh, the the fighting has to be the fighting is actually at this point the Spider-Man fighting style they pretty much have down. I think in these games from mm-hmm. what I've seen. But you, you have to have a good weight to Spider-Man, how he moves. And this trailer looks like there's a good weight to him in terms of... His agility and yeah. how he would move uh, gymnastically. Not totally sold on the outfit. Maybe that's what how he's going to look in the next uh, mar- uh, mar- uh, next movie. I don't know, with the white insignia. It's different. I don't hate it. It's just not traditional. But whatever. Spider-Man's had a lot of different outfits in the past. And uh, and plus, you got to have... I guess I like to see some... Don't you don't have to cram in every single Spider-Man villain? I know he has he has, he's got the, he's got the Rogues Gallery on on the Marvel side, but you don't need to cram in every single one to fit them all in. You, no. you know you can have some of the, give me the Shocker here and there, some of the C or D villains. I love the Shocker, the Big Wheel. I always wanted. Now I'm going to go off tangent. Just I I guarantee uh, this is how smart Marvel is going to be, because I always said this is how the rating film should be. The beginning of every Spider-Man movie ever made should be like a James Bond movie where you just cut in and he's fighting with a B or C grade villain sure. for three minutes before you go to the intro. Yeah. Because you're never going to have a movie based upon the fucking shocker. No. But you want to see him get his ass kicked. Yeah. That's the perfect way to do it. <laughs> I, Marvel, if you don't do this, I'm going to guarantee it. 
yet you're going to do this. It's a great idea. We want Shocker and, and Homecoming getting his ass kicked in the first two minutes. Yep. Next year. And Ian will be so happy. Ian will be there. Won't even have to, he'll even watch the rest of the movie. Nope. After that, he'll just walk out. Just Shocker. 